we now turn it over to Joey Logano, driver of the number 22 Shell Pennzoil Ford for Roger Penske. Now, Joey, talk about the excitement you have coming in here uh, to the World Center of Racing and getting ready for the 56th running of the Daytona 500. Well, I've had the whole day to uh, hang out in the trailer and get antsy and not be able to sit still because I'm full of energy right now and a lot of excitement to get on the racetrack and do something, but uh, not looking pretty out there, but uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, my team's ready to go. Uh, we're, we're excited about this season. We're able to uh, you know, keep the whole team you know, together for the most part and uh, uh, be able to build off what we had last season, which is good because we, uh, we made a lot of changes coming into last season. Um, obviously with the driver, but, uh, you know, with, with engineers, uh, shock specialists, uh, car chief, uh, spotter, all that. So, so those, um, you know, key positions are still there. Um, and that's important to, you know, kind of build off of what we had last year. And, um, we ended the season with a good year and, uh, being able to, um, build off of that with the same people and kind of take a step back and look at, uh, you know, what everyone's role is and where we can all do a little better job, um, individually and as a team and um, try to make a great season out of it. Okay, we're going to open it up now for questions. If you could please raise your hand, we'll get a wireless mic to you. Any questions for Joey Logano? This is no a very questions. curious group today. <laughs> what do you Start over doing? here with Dwight. <laughs> mm. Uh, Dwight Drummer, estate.com. Could you talk a little bit about uh, uh, what you would do in the uh, off-season, Joey, about uh, preventing uh, cobwebs, keeping yourself in shape to come back to, to uh, and ready to come back uh, uh, testing and racing? Well, I, I think, like you said, testing. I, I've signed up for every test that comes up at Penske Racing. I, I, uh, I went to Memphis a few weeks ago. Um, I went to Columbia uh, for Juan Pablo's go kart race, which I mean, it's it's still a race, so you're you're you know racing something. I think that's important just to uh, be in the seat and driving things. Um, really, no matter what it is, I think as long as you're you're taking something and pushing it to the edge, um, I think that's important. And I think uh, you know being up at the shop a lot and uh, understanding you know where the team's going and, and what uh, what changes and what these rule changes are going to do and uh, you know help uh, direct the team in the right direction uh, to. Um, what's going to, you know, fit my driving style or what, what I think is going to be the most important as a driver uh, as, as we come into the season. So, um, you know, I, I think whatever you got to do to stay in the loop and, uh, and at the same time also be in a race car uh, is, is the most important things throughout the offseason. Any more questions for Joey Logano? We'll go over here to Steve and then back to Bob. Joey, sort of a tough year last year for the entire team. Uh, a lot of people think the wheels started coming off at the first race in Texas uh, with a whole rear-end controversy. Do you agree with that? And, and if not, what went wrong last year, and what can you guys do this year to, to make sure that year doesn't repeat itself? I don't think it was a terrible season, uh, in all honesty. Uh, I mean, we, we, we made the chase. We, uh, uh, we were very solid. Uh, I feel like, um, you know, week in and week out, we were, you know, a top 10 to a top 5 car. Uh, unless we had some kind of issue, um, you know, and I, th I thought despite everything that happened in Texas, uh, you know, for the 22 team, we overcame that. Uh, you know, we finished fifth that day and um, was able to keep, you know, pushing forward uh, um, to, to win in races. So, um, you know, I feel like we've had the opportunity last year to win five to six races. Uh, we only capitalized on one. Um, so we can get better at that. Um, I think that's a, a big area for us. I think our, our pit stops, we're making some changes on the pit crew uh, to make that better. Um, you know, I felt like our cars last year had speed in them. Um, you know, I felt like the mile and a half stuff was probably our best. That's where our strongest suit was. Um, but, you know, we were uh, working hard on, on where our weaker points were, which I felt like were short tracks. Um, and we were able to, uh, you know, work on that stuff. Obviously, this rule change is, is kind of a, a great equalizer right now and an opportunity for us to, um, you know, take these rule changes and, and make the most of it and try to figure it out first because there's going to be guys um, that are going to, you know, figure it out first and, and you know, going into the season and, and look at these first four or five races and take advantage of that opportunity. So we want to be that guy. You know, we want to do that. So um, we're going to work hard, hard over this off season to figure that out, figure out our pit stops. And, um, you know, and, and, you know, Todd and myself figure out how when we have the opportunity to win uh, to take, uh, you know, take advantage of that a little better than we did last year. 
Go to Bob. Uh, Bob Parker, Sporting News. You talked, you've already been to Memphis, so what are you learning about the new aero rules? <laughs> yeah, Memphis wasn't uh, a big deal for the aero rules. Obviously, it's a shorter racetrack there. That was kind of the, the right height rule and uh, some of the suspension stuff that we can work on and kind of get a direction on which way we wanted to go, um, you know, for over this off season. Uh, when we go back to the shop to know what direction we want to, you know, build our cars in and, and what we want to do. So um, that was kind of a, a baseline test, see what the differences are and see what worked the best for us. Um, you know, obviously there's a Charlotte test also, but, uh, you know, these aero changes are, are probably bigger than anything else this year um, as far as, the w you know, the way we're going to build our bodies um, and, and what, uh, what we want in them. So, um, and obviously how much faster the cars go through the corners now. Um, so that, that changes it up a lot. It changes your driving style, changes up your car setup a lot, and, and really, in all honesty, it brings it a little bit more to a, a nationwide car, which um, I don't believe is a bad thing for, for this 22 team. I feel like it falls into my style a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I think last year you see the Gen 6 car that kind of fell into my hands too. So uh, we're excited about the season. We're uh, very positive about these rule changes and, and, like I said earlier, about taking advantage of, uh, you know, the opportunity to be the first guy to figure this out. Do we have any more questions for Joey? Up here to Dustin. Dustin Long, MRN. Um, Joey, there's been, uh, Brian Francis talked a bit uh, since the season about incentivizing wins and risk taking. Uh, certainly that comes from, from fans who say, hey, the more needs to be taking place or so forth. How do you look at that? Um, is that, I don't want to say insult in the sense of that some people seem to think that you guys aren't doing enough or, or do you need, should there be some more out there to incentivize and, and how do you do it because um, how are you going to come up with a system where w if you win races that's, you know, I mean no matter what they come up with, Jimmy Johnson still keeps winning the championship. <laughs> I don't know if there's any race car driver out here that isn't competitive enough to say they're going to do what they got to do to win a race. You know, they're going to try to win the race. Uh, I think if there is someone like that out here, it's probably not the guy that's going to win any races throughout the season. Um, you got to you got to want to be the guy that's going to push uh, ahead. And, and when you're running second, to, to, to you know find that extra little bit to pass that guy. Um, you know, I think at the same time we we want to do it as clean as we can um, because we race against the same people every weekend, and there is that you know payback that comes back to you so um you know obviously we're, we're going to be as smart as we can we want to put on a clean race that's what a good race is uh is when you see cars racing door to door um obviously it's going to be beating and banging and rubbing but taking someone out's a different story um and that's what we want to put on for our fans that's a good show to me that's a good race um and that's what we want to do i think these real changes are the whole, whole reason why we did them right is to try to make the car is easier for us to get around and be able to catch each other easier and not get uh, stuck in the wake of another car. Um, hopefully, these are the, the is the right direction uh, for us to, to you know go into this next season um, to to try to help that. But I'm pretty sure the drivers of this level are very competitive and want to win really really bad because pulling it into victory lane and doing burnouts is really really fun. And I'm pretty sure everyone enjoys that, and we're going to do whatever we can to, to make that happen. So I think we're, we're changing the cars to help allow us, uh, you know, race each other a little easier. Any more questions for Joey? We'll go back to Godwin in the back. Um, way back here, Joey Godwin, Kelly News Journal. Um, as a young driver, do you kind of study what Jimmy Johnson's doing as he – uh, grinds his way through these championships and wins. Can, is there anything you can study about him that you could emulate later? Yeah. Uh, I mean, anyone that's won six championships, he's got something figured out. I think uh, I really wish I knew what it was, though, because I, I, I look and I watch, and um, he's just he's very good, obviously. Uh, but, you know, I feel like, um, you know, we can, we can race him, we can beat him. Um, but you, it's it's smart to uh, take a look at your competitors and and try to figure out and understand what what they're doing with directions to their car, what they're doing with their, with that part of it, and and as a driver, what he's doing to become a very good driver. So um, I've done that my whole career since I've started, and um, it, I've been able to make progress uh, as I go on through my career. Um, 
you know, like, like I said earlier, you know, you're racing against the best race car drivers in the world, in my eyes at least. And, you know, to be able to beat these guys, you got to work hard because they're good. And you look at the, you know, football players and um, teams like that, they're always studying tapes and studying their competition on how they can get better. Uh, so it, the same thing comes down in our sport. We're going to look at the pictures of the cars on the racetracks. We're going to uh, study uh, race footage, uh, in-car cameras, whatever we can find, we're going to study it um, and try to understand what they're doing uh, inside the car and outside the car to uh, you know, win six championships because uh, I, I want to get six of them too. Great. Joey? Wish we could do something about these raindrops and, uh, and cure your restlessness, but we really appreciate you coming in here today and talking with Thank us. Thank you. You guys going crazy too yet? I'm going nuts, so have fun. Thanks, Joe.